what is going on beautiful people it's your boy blue welcome to train simulator 2021 and today we are driving a classic the beautiful merchant navy class 3502 a clan line steam locomotive and we're gonna be taking her on the bournemouth bell rail tour this tour originated in london victoria but we will be driving the southampton to bournemouth section terminating at weymouth after a water break because you know without water there's no steam and no steam there's no chug chugging so you know let's go all right we in this thing baby this thing looks nice on the interior i have to say this is one of the better looking locomotives on train simulator uh i'm actually pretty impressed uh by the, the piping the uh, the texturing the the reflections everything like it's not overdone it's like it's just right there's a few areas where there's a bit of a low uh, quality textures but for the most part it looks pretty darn good let's go ahead and get the uh, passengers loaded here in southampton central i'm gonna hit t on my keyboard that's gonna open up the doors back there oh yeah we got guys he's ready this guy right here he's on a freaking mission he is walking he is walking he is on the move <laughs> all right let's uh go ahead and get our uh our locomotive ready to roll out here while we get the passengers loaded i'm gonna press on the e key that's gonna unlock our reverser that allows us to spin our reverser forward all the way up to uh f75 it's basically the low uh levels it's kind of like a a, a car uh you know you have gears so as you go up and down so up here it will be like first gear as you go down uh it'll be like the higher gears so if we go all the way down like to f that would be like the highest of gears you know what i'm saying so uh when we first roll out we want to start off with uh, f uh, again, I want to go ahead and mention actually that I'm not a, a <laughs> expert at all at driving these trains. I'm very, very new to steam locomotives. Uh, pretty excited to be getting into this one. Pretty surprised and, and happy with how nice it is, and I'm looking forward to to driving it today. And uh, but yeah, so that's good to go. Uh, the only other thing we have to do is uh, release the brakes, which is gonna be right here. We're using the vacuum brakes today. This uh, locomotive actually has vacuum brakes and air brakes. These are the air brakes. We will not be using that today, though. And here's our regulator. Our regulator is what's going to be uh, giving uh, or applying power and allowing us to go forward. We got our uh, water and steam injectors over here. Uh, we are going to have to make a water stop or a water break. Uh, we actually need water. We're not fully watered up. Right? See the right there at 1,000. I think that's gallons, 1,000 gallons right now. So we got to make a water stop before we continue to our final stop today all right let's take a head out the window see how we're doing all right so passengers still loading beautiful train man beautiful train my gosh i would love to see one of these in real life you can see there's another uh local train over there getting ready one thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna hit f5 on our keyboard if it'll let me so we need to turn take the f3 off and hit F5. That's going to give us this information on the left side here. All right, instruction complete right away. Next stop to wherever that is. Uh, we'll take on the water. Sounds good. All right, guys. It is uh, time for us to roll out. We'll hit the whistle. Oh, yeah. It sounds, sounds good, too. Hey, right, they're rolling out as well. Let's go ahead and release the brakes. And it's actually going to take a while for it to release. So what we're going to do is hit the... Uh, the small ejector that'll help us release the brakes a bit quicker this is our our brake pipe or our um, brake gauge so our train pipe on the left our vacuum chamber on the right once that gets above 20 or 21 uh, will be fully released on the brakes and we can roll this so right here is our steam chest pressure gotta be careful that this doesn't get too high All right, here comes 20 and 21 we also have that same information on the top left of our screen here um, in more detail. So here we go. So brakes are released. I'm going to go ahead and pull the regulator, the big handle right here. Pull that back just a little bit. And watch our steam pressure. Don't want to get too high. Once the boiler pressure gets above 200 and about 47, uh, you'll start getting a, uh, a really loud sound. You might hear it here in just a second. So just kind of trying not to apply too much. I don't want our boiler pressure to go up too high. It gets a little loud getting out of here. I'm going to shut the uh, cylinder cock. That'll make it a little bit, little bit quieter. So we get a slow start. 
the train's been sitting for a while, so it does need to heat back up. Poke our head out the window. All right, you hear that sound? That's what I'm talking about. That's saying that our boiler pressure has gotten too high. It's coming out of here. And what we can do is actually hit the uh, water and steam injectors. And that'll help bring that boiler pressure down. And now it's quiet, you hear that? So imply a bit more power. Again, it takes a bit of time for these trains to warm up. The max speed of this train is 75 miles per hour. But uh, I've actually gone faster, so it, it is possible to go faster, but you're not supposed to, for safety reasons. Alright, boiler pressure is looking better, steam pressure is looking solid. Speed limit on the, actually I'm not sure what it is, I think it's 60 coming up. So we're paying attention to the signals and speed limits. Now that we're rolling forward, I'm going to hit the E key again. And we'll roll it back to like 70. Again, it's kind of like changing gears. As you get rolling, you can go ahead and switch up to like second gear. And for us, it's going to be 70. Again, I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm not an expert at this. I don't know exactly which gear to go to at what point. All right, so you can hear that. That's our boiler pressure getting too high again. Turn on the uh, water injectors, water and steam injectors. And that'll bring that pressure back down. There it is now, it's a bit quieter. And we're rolling. Not too bad, man. I'll tell you this much. <laughs> uh, and, and when I first got my hands on this train, my very first attempts at driving it, uh, getting it started, getting it going is, is very, is difficult when you're new to steam trains. You're just not used to it. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're looking okay as of now. Uh, I will say though, this is one of the hardest trains I have ever had to drive. Seriously. I right, come up to 22, almost 23 miles per hour. You definitely have an, a different appreciation uh, for steam trains. And as you learn to drive a train this complex, uh, you also have an appreciation for the people who, uh, the few people who have actually been able to drive these in real life. It's definitely uh, a skill. Everything is mechanical. Nothing is, uh, there's no assistance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Another train driving by as we come by the, uh, Right now we're in the south of UK, southern UK. Should I be a dock over there, off to our left? Now, right, 28 miles per hour. Let's go take a look at our line here. So, what, current current speed limit is 60. It's about to jump up to 65. Let's see if we can get a bit faster. I'm gonna add a bit more regulator. It should be warmed up a bit better now. That sound is usually a speed change coming up. Yep, 33 miles per hour, not too bad. I wanna see if I can, at some point on this route, I wanna see if we can get a, get ourselves up to 75 miles per hour, if possible. We gotta be careful though, if you overdo things, um, it'll punish you. I'm right, bringing it back to F60. We'll see how that goes for us. And I, I, you kinda have to play with this reverser. I haven't found any documentation of like how fast to go at which reverse or settings. So you kinda gotta play with it and find out which one is giving you more traction. More forward bite, as you could call it, you know. Right, I'm gonna turn off that, uh, turn off that uh, over there. We can also hit this over here and turn on the automatic fireman. I'm not really familiar with how, like, hot the fire needs to be at what point. Um, a real fireman that will would change the uh, the level of the furnace or the heat, or I should say the fire mass in pounds in the, in the furnace based on you know where you are, whether you're going uphill, downhill, uh, are you rolling into a station, are you coasting, things like that. And I haven't figured out how that works yet. So if you're watching this and you're like an expert on steam engines, uh, please let me know because I would love to, to, to learn how to do that. I would love to do the, the uh, putting in the fire myself, which you can do guys. If you're not familiar, you can actually uh, shovel in coal. All right, I'm gonna hit the acknowledger. That was the uh, AWS warning system. It was 50 miles per hour. We're going a little bit fast. Let's pull that regulator back. 
We'll let it coast here. We'll actually apply possibly a little bit of brake as we are now speeding. Again, we're using the vacuum brakes and we'll release it here. Actually, not speeding yet. We're about to be speeding. Uh, 50 miles per hour is coming up here at a Red Ridge platform. We can also look up here and see our speed limit right at 50 miles per hour. So we got 50, 50, 55, 60, and 75 coming up. All right, our speed has dropped down to about 45. Uh, line speed currently is 60, coming up on 75 here. So let's get the power up. Uh, we're on a nice, uh, even, actually we're going on a slight down gradient. Uh, so we want to kind of pick up speed in these sections uh, so that when we get to the other sections of the track where it's, uh, it's uphill, we want to make sure we have enough momentum going forward so we don't have to apply so much power and use so much steam and water. We do want to watch out with our water because we don't want to run out. Uh, very you don't want to water out, want you don't want to run out of water in the boiler um, and you don't want to run out of water in general um, many times I run out of water in the actual boiler uh, due to just using the uh, just not you know managing the train very well many many times <laughs> right now our, our water level our boiler water level is 68.68 .68. it's like 67 percent basically is what that means I'm gonna turn on the water injector you can hear that turning on and that'll start adding water slowly to the water the boiler water level and it also depends on whether you have the regulator open so if the regulator is turned on um it's going to be basically you know using more steam which is going to bring your water level down uh quicker so right now it's dropping because we're at 86 percent regulator percentage let's bring our speed down about the d so if i pull that regulator back Right there, it's a complete off, like idle. Uh, you'll see now, because we have our water and steam injector turned on, it's actually, it actually should, in theory, uh, bring our water level up. So if your water level is getting low, I would recommend using less regulator power and uh, injecting some more water in there manually. The automatic fireman does not handle the water. Uh, you have to do that by yourself. So you see it's raising now, 64%. Our fire mass is 1,084 pounds which is what the automatic fireman is handling. Uh, it's right around where you want it to be, usually. Um, and then our steam generation here is only 3,500 because we have regulators completely turned off. Uh, and the steam usage rate, you can see right there, that's how much steam we're using. Cylinder clocks are off, brakes are off, small ejectors open. Our tender water level, which is back here, back here behind the train, our tender water level is actually uh, 962 gallons, right? Uh, and our tender coal level is 5,000. So you can actually see that actually reflects in the actual train, which is pretty cool. So like I said, we're making a water stop on this route uh, to fill this up completely. I think it's about 6,000 pounds of water you can fit in here. Uh, so we'll fill it up completely so that we can make it to our final stop because we're not going to be able to make it on 900 gallons. And hopefully we can make it to the water stop with 900 gallons. We got to be careful not to, you know, over, you know, overdo it. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Add some more power. You see our boiler water level is now 79%. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's go ahead and bring some regulator back up. And we'll gain speed again. Line speed currently uh, is actually 80, 90 right now. Line speed is 90 at the moment. It's about to drop to 80 and then back up to 90 again. Our max speed is 75. Sorry if it's a bit loud in here. <laughs> it's a loud train. Loud, hot train. All right, so our speed's picking up gonna pull the regulator all the way back to 100% and right now we are on a little bit of a uphill gradient but we're still gaining speed all right take a look at our map here we do have a stop we do not want to miss it I right, pick up fuel water from water truck at Bolo I don't want to say the name uh, at the water stop uh, where are we center player all right so here's Bournemouth Bill so let's see how far out we are here it is right here so uh, basically right now we're in a left turn 
Uh, and then we'll go through a, a slight right turn to a long uh, straight away. And then it looks like it's probably going to be most likely right before a signal. So uh, we'll keep an eye out for a right turn. And once we get to that right turn, we'll start slowing down to get to our water stop. We do not want to overshoot that. All right, whistle. That's what the W sign means. All right, we're at 55 miles per hour, looking solid. All right, guys, here comes that left turn we were talking about, which means we're pretty close. We're just under 60 miles per hour, doing pretty solid in our speed. I'm pretty uh, proud of myself, actually. <laughs> it's not easy, trust me. It might look easy, but it's not easy getting these things up to speed, um, especially when there's gradients and speed changes and things. All right, here comes our straightaway. Our uh, next stop should be probably around where that bridge is, most likely. So we'll go ahead and bring our regular power back to, uh, to idle. Now we're in a coast. And it looks like we're only less than a mile away from there. I'm going to bring our reverser back up to low. And we'll start applying some of the brakes. Now, you don't want to slam the brakes on completely. You just kind of want to bring it down and then, and then stop. Because right now we're at 15. So let's take a look at the window so we can gauge how far we are. And you also don't want to completely apply the brakes. I don't want the, the brakes to be completely applied or we'll get stopped too soon. So you kind of see I'm kind of pumping them, I guess you could say, pumping the brakes. We're at 39 miles per hour. We do need to get slowed down. If I zoom in here, you can see we're getting really close to that station. We'll see how we do here, though. And we'll be looking for uh, some type of water truck. Let's go ahead and whistle, let them know we're coming in. through the platform all right we're doing okay all right get out of here all right here's the station completely fully apply the uh the brakes now and i think that's our water truck we're right here on our right that red truck and looks like we're probably gonna stop just short yeah so, I mean, the good thing is that we stopped right at the station. So, <laughs> if we were aiming for the station, uh, we're good to go. But uh, we're not aiming for the station in this case. We need to pull forward just a little bit. We need to get our uh, our tender in line with this truck so that they can actually fill it up. So, I'm going to uh, go ahead and apply the power. Brakes are, f for the most part, fully released. Uh, we'll just apply some more regulator and keep going forward. Just a little bit. We get rolling for it there. Uh, while we're going slower, though, I do want to go ahead and get that boiler water level back up. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, okay. Chill, chill. Not too much. We're like, we're like here. I don't want to go too far. Is this close enough? This might be close enough. Let's see. All right, let's go ahead and get out of the train virtually <laughs> and uh, see if we can actually refill this bay we might have pulled too far hopefully we didn't all right so we're over here we should be able to click on the fuel truck maybe and i think we went too far forward of course come on they are picky come on you could there's a pipe you could have pulled the truck a little bit forward you, you could have pulled the truck a few inches forward all right that should be good right there that's probably too far that's probably too far <laughs> my god let's try it yeah it's too far of course it is all right so we're going i'm turning my uh reverser back forward i'm not gonna go back inside for that view all right that should be close enough all right let's see there it is so you see now the uh the water area has popped open there you can also i believe you can hit t key uh, whenever it comes to refueling water or refueling the tender, it's the same key for opening the passenger doors and loading any other type of train. But all right, cool. So we are we made it. Uh, we're we're loading water again. We have six thousand gallons uh, we can fit in that uh, in there, which is crazy. That's that's a ton of water. <laughs> Eight nine hundred gallons of six thousand. So we're gonna wait um, to fill it up. 
Uh, while we wait for the water to fill, I'll kind of give you guys a bit of a, of a tour of the locomotive. We'll take a, a close look at the outside first, and then we'll work our way in. And uh, so it looks like, a, you know, right there, right, right before this crosswalk. What is this guy doing standing on top of this, <laughs> this car? Come on, bro. He should start dancing or something. So anyways, uh, man, this train is beautiful, guys. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Boston Games did a great job on this. Really good job. This is part of the uh, tr uh, Train Simulator Pro Series, um, which I highly, highly recommend. If you're looking to get into Train Simulator Classic uh, and you want something that's more complex, on the Bournemouth Bell, the uh, Merchant Class, Navy Class 9 here looks very nice. Very nice modeling. You can see how the texture works. Looks really good on the outside. Did a really good job, man. I believe there are multiple liveries. I think there's a blue one, a black one, a dirty one. Um, but I haven't figured out how to like actually get access to those. Uh, maybe I have to like uh, create my own scenario or something like that to actually see them. But uh, I believe there is more than one livery for this train, even though this one does look pretty darn good. Look at those massive wheels on this thing. I believe all these parts, all the parts as if just like the real thing actually animate here on the exterior. Even the small things like these up here will animate as well. 35028, engine number 35028. Here's where all the steam comes out. So whenever you hit that uh, injector, uh, you'll see like steam popping out of here going in through these pipes. Here's the, uh, I think the damper or something like that. That yellow glow is actually coming from the furnace, uh, from the fire. You can actually shut that and close that um, to control your fire even more. Like I said, I need to learn more about how to control a fire, how to uh, to do it in different situations so that I know when to use the, the damper, when to use the blowers and stuff like that. But man, this is just a beautiful train. It also has the um, Merchant Navy Locomotive Pre Preservation Society Limited, uh, little, uh, I think you call it a companion carriage or something like that and then you come back here you actually see these are the, the default carriages back here which look horrible to be honest with you you know me my first uh, impression of uh train simulator class was like man why are you guys playing a 10 year old game um because a lot of it looks like this this i think in my personal opinion this looks horrible i think this if the whole game looked like this i would definitely would have gotten a refund which i almost did we'll talk more about that later maybe um but yeah, so this is what these look like um, compared to, look at this, this is like the third party carriage, how well modeled this is, how detailed all the pieces are, the texturing, the reflections, the PBR, all that looks so good here. Even the interior looks solid. Um, but if you come back here to some of the default uh, carriages, it just looks like, I don't know, somebody made it with MS Paint. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, you know. Um, the train looks so good. I think there is a mod to replace these, though. I just haven't, uh, I don't have it right now. But anyways. Um, but yeah, man, Tesla looks good. Looks really good. Sounds good in my opinion. It has different variations of a horn. You see the conductor up there? Looking good, man. I see you, bro. I see you, bro. Doing your job. He's he's an OG, man. That's the OG right there. You can also change some of these things up here. Again, I'm not going to go through all that stuff. Um, this train is not new. It is just new to me. Look at the inside before we head out. Again, you guys know the reverse was here. Cylinder cock is here. We're actually going to open the cylinder cock since we're sitting. We're going to blow us on since we're sitting as well. Still learning how to use some of these things and when to use them. Our warning systems up here, as you can see. Uh, I'll also go ahead and apply our small brake. Nice. Uh, here's our warning system. You, hit, you pull this down whenever you hear the horn. Speed limit. Horn. Here are a bunch of the, uh, what are these? These are the isolation valves. I don't even know how to use those yet. Uh, we got a nice road trip or uh, <laughs> our in route snack here. Looking good. Here's our air brake pipes and, and gauges and stuff like that. Look behind us. There is, uh, this is actually where all the, the coal comes from. You shovel the coal into the furnace here. Here's uh, the fireman's seat. You can actually pull that up. You actually do the same for yourself. If you would like to stand, you can open, open and close the windows. There's also a uh, up here you can open and close this baby. Come on. Yep, there we go. It does get hot in here, so you might want to open up some of this stuff. You can hear that you hear that now? That's actually the, the boiler pressure has now gotten too high. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn on the ejectors. You can do that by hitting the O and L key for these two or the I and K key for these two. And so again what that's doing is it's injecting water into the uh, into the boiler. And it's also bringing the boiler pressure down. It's actually, right now, it's not going down, surprisingly, but it should bring the pressure down and bring the water level higher. Right now, we're at 5,000, sorry, 3,000 uh, water level, so we're halfway there. 
But yeah, very impressed by the interior of this train. All right, we just finished uh, loading up the, all the water. It actually took a bit of time uh, to do it. It takes a, a, you know, a while to pump 6,000 gallons of water. Uh, but we're now full of water and, uh, and now ready to roll out here uh, and continue south to Bournemouth. And uh, yeah, looking good. So I've gotten the uh, boiler pressure under control, thankfully, uh, under our little uh, water break. Um, but now our boiler water is a little high. Um, so we're only we're not even halfway. We have a pretty long trip to go. You can see our, our map here. We're just about I wouldn't even we're not even quite halfway yet. We gotta go all the way down to uh warm it down here, platform three. Brakes off. Or at least the brakes. I'm also gonna go use a small ejector again. Using the small ejector kinda helps uh release the brakes a bit quicker on the vacuum brake as well. All right, so we already got the reverse. We're full forward. We can shut the cylinder cock off ahead of time. Uh, turn my automatic fireman off for a while because we were we're pretty good on on firemans at the moment. I think that's also part of the reason why uh, I was overheating or the boiler pressure was getting too high. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the uh, water injector because we're gonna use a lot of steam and a lot of everything on the way out of here. All right, looks like we're just about fully. Uh, pretty close. It didn't really go all the way to 21. It stopped at 20. Um, I think that's really good, good enough for us. Let's go ahead and apply the uh, re regulator. We'll pull it back. Same concept as last time. Uh, we're on an even gradient, so not going uphill or downhill. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for the water. Platform is clear. Signals are all green ahead. We shouldn't have any stops. It'll be express all the way to Bournemouth. So kind of uh, just want to keep our boiler pressure down. That's really what I'm trying to do. Our steam chest pressure as well. Don't want to overdo it. You see, our boiler water level is actually over full, <laughs> but it's also bringing our pressure down. So that's why I have it on. Alright, let's just give that a try. We'll bring the reverser back to 70 as we're rolling now. See, the line speed right now is 90, so we can go as fast as we want. Hmm, I think I may have just found a bug. Uh, not sure how I did it or what, it, what caused it, but if you look at the, top, at the top left, it says train brake is negative 2 million. <laughs> Local brake, 2 million. We might have to use the air brake. Uh, I don't know if our brakes are even working anymore. And uh, that's a problem. Because <laughs> eventually we will need to stop. Alright guys, so we're finally picking up speed. Um, I had a few issues with the boiler pressure dropping too low. It was as low as 100 psi at one point. And uh, basically what I ended up doing was uh, putting the regulator to idle. I had the, the, the left um, steam and water injectors turned on because my water level, my boiler water level was also pretty low. And actually here now that we're actually too high so I'm going to go ahead and pull the regulator back some more so it seems that uh, we're picking up speed though which is pretty nice and it seems to finally have kind of uh, leveled off here 
at 240 psi so i mean again i'm not an expert at driving steam trains but i kind of was troubleshooting and trying to figure out what i was doing wrong i still don't know what i was doing wrong but i am looking forward to uh you guys telling me you got you guys always uh correct me uh in these videos i'm looking forward to uh your feedback on what i can do better when i'm driving these trains uh but it looks pretty good now so you can see we're kind of losing some boulder pressure a little bit um what happened was i had my regulator just kind of at 100 percent and I left it at 100% on a incline and I was losing pressure. I was like, why am I losing pressure? All right, that's the warning system. So we're gonna hit the AWS here, acknowledge, so it doesn't go into an emergency brake. And the reason it did that is because we have a 60 miles per hour uh, speed limit up right there. Actually coming up here in just a little bit. So now that we've uh, gotten up to speed, now we gotta slow down again. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and uh, we are going uphill just a little bit. Uh, let's see if those brakes work. <laughs> I'm not sure if they're working. I can't tell. I'm having some kind of glitch here in my, uh, it's like I broke my train brake gauge somehow. Oh yeah, we're getting real close. Let's go ahead and apply some brakes. Hopefully they work. We need to test them. Again, I have no thing here, so I don't know if they're actually going to apply. We may need to switch to... Yeah, it's not working. We're gonna have to switch to the air brake. I don't even know how to use it. Okay, there we go. Let's see if the air brakes work. Uh, we're gonna slide through here. Please don't tell me we don't have brakes on this train. There we go. Full service. All right, we're gonna come in hot. Yeah, we're speeding. <laughs> oh boy. We'll honk the horn, let everybody know. Uh, are we slowing down? Are the air brakes working? The air brakes are not working either. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is not good. Runaway train. What did I do? I didn't do something. I did something wrong. Emergency brakes. I think it's stopping now. Yeah, we're gonna roll through. We're gonna roll through this. Yeah, we just missed our station. Scenario failed, are you serious? Better luck next time, oh my god. Oh, I can't believe that just freaking happened. That's never happened to me before. <laughs> well, either way, I did actually enjoy driving this train and on this route, again, this is not my very first route I've done I've done others and I've actually completed them, so I'm surprised that this even happened. But I, I kind of want to continue to see what happens next. Is our speed even coming down? Our speed's 45. It's slowly coming down. These air brakes are not working. These air brakes are not working. Oh my god. I set the air brake to emergency. Oh, we gonna die. There's the end of the rail right there, guys. Oh no. Oh no. Dead! Oh. Oh man, I feel horrible. Such a beautiful train, we wrecked it. Can you believe that? Can you freaking believe that? Well, guys, that was a fail. Um, we definitely struggled throughout that route. Uh, but hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to try and do better next time. I'm also going to learn to use the actual fire uh, or be able to handle the fire as well next time we come back to steam trains. And uh, I really like it. I'm going to continue driving steam trains and learning them and using them because it's really kind of cool. It's really interesting. It gives you something to do throughout the route. Uh, you're not just sitting back and, and, and cruising. Like You actually have to manage things and balance things. And I actually like that. I like having that next level of realism, complexity, um, and challenge. So anyways, guys, while we're spinning in circles to our death, thank you so much for watching. Remember, you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I will see you guys next time, next video.